station There I saw you in the night And then one day I found you How could I help but realize My lucky star was smiling Right there before my very eyes You are my lucky star at me they were gleaming gleaming I was starstruck you're all my lucky charms I'm lucky in your arms you've opened heaven's portal here on earth for this poor mortal Seattle thing was beautiful. Yeah, well, that's very true. Incredible. We are on. The we're fact on. that they can pull it off and still sound professional. Oh, are we back on the air? Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. You're going to have to change your voice. You know, the FCC ruling that you can't speak. Wait a minute, what voice was I in? What wait, voice wait, was I in? I forgot. Before, no. before we fall into more voices, may I read you the ah! most. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> so long, Hilario. May I read you the most incredible article that I've seen for a long time in the paper? What if sure. I said no? Just a second. What if okay. I said no? You know, I'm just. This is a, a life. Life confrontation. I said, no, Phil, you can't. Well, we have Let no... him speak! Well, that guy over there wants to hear me talk. He's an emotional <laughs> cripple. He votes twice. Go on, let him speak! Come on, Flinthead, let the short guy speak! Okay, that's two people. That's at least a majority. Josh Stevens wins! Now, this is from the... Get out with the fox! Mr. This is from Stevens, the L.A. Times. the liquor store. The flies? No, the yeah, flies! The fly. No, the flies down He's voting. He's out voting again! Oh, that's right! Oh, Josh! Josh! You guys are really crazy. What, what do you yeah, call Yeah, they that? are, too. Okay, that's certainly it. are, using those for the Congress of Chong. Right. Rod, Rod Steiger has been signed by producer Richard Delapont to star in a Beckett, uh, Act 2, Act 1. That's what it says, to star in a Beckett, Act 2, Act 1. Tony Blevins has been set to direct, and filming will be done entirely in Ireland. Pulitzer surprise winning author Beckett will serve as consultant during the filming. Steiger will do the entire show in pantomime, or in a bunker, I imagine, if they're going to do it in Ireland, playing three roles. In the first, he plays a man thrown into the center of the world. In the second, he plays a nonconformist in conflict with each other. And the third one, I know End what the third article. one is. Well, what is the third one? He plays a sweet role. <laughs> hey, Bolios! One of those things, you know. There was I have some lines from that play. Would you like to hear some oh, lines please. from that play? That sounds like a wonderful play. I have a play. section from that. Uh, okay, here's the one character. He comes in and he says, Take Nothing. it from the top, would you, Hilario? Uh, okay, I'll stand on my head. <laughs> there. Wait a minute. Doesn't no, sound no, any different, morning. does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Nothing, Mrs. Gonzalez. Elena, I have a terrible headache. Okay, then Elena says... You have says, a terrible accent, too. <laughs> <she's>, uh, <laughs> Elena says, sit down. Um, I have a terrible Japanese accent, man, which is what I'm trying to do. You know, this character is Japanese. Sit down, I'll massage your head. Kura sits in canvas chair. Elena massages her forehead and her temples. That's just fine. You could have been a nurse, nurse. Your fingers are firm and sure. So you can see in the avant-garde theater what is going on, you know. This is a good play. This is a very Many good play. Many people say that these plays have no point, that they're stupid. You know, but I don't think they're stupid. Listen, I went I down. Either. I went got just... a point. Right <laughs> on top of your head. Are you talking to me? Who am I looking at just because I'm wall-eyed? Well, I don't. I Follow don't... my nose, smartass. Well, I, 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 I could point you out. <laughs> I was trying to think of a pun on pointed head, you know. Because <laughs> you've done funny. so well with walleye. Come on, work up some fast material. <laughs> okay. What do we talk about? You're improvising, aren't you? No, I'm Is this responding. Off the top of your head? Okay, yeah. If my... I were on the top of your head, I'd fall off. Get to the point. <laughs> That's the trouble. If I were on the top of your head, I'd be on the point. Well, I've run that into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like my head. Turn over. Can I get up now? Another episode of The Finger Brothers, a fill and pill of Finger Brothers, America's most despised comedians. They'll be back with you again next Thursday, brought to you this week and every week by Japanese Oil. Flying the hump, don't bump the Japanese. <laughs>
And as a furtherance of the present health crisis, 18 new cases of meningitis were reported stolen from the looking dock between Kresge's Lug and Dicker store last Tuesday what? at 11.35 a.m. Police kept saying? the report a secret until today to prevent the widespread panic which Wait, never occurred. Stay. Fans telephoning to hear recorded voices of seven rock stars have caused a glut of busy signals on some Hollywood area telephones, a Pacific telephone newsman said. Uh, Don Berrigan, not related to the Reverend, uh, publisher of a new fan magazine for teenage girls, said it had printed a number where callers could uh, hear a three-minute greeting by Donny Osmond, uh, David Cassidy, and the Jackson Five, all pop singers not related to the Fireside Theater. Uh, so many called, the telephone spokesman said, that meters recorded 9,000 busy signals in a 12-hour period. On March 9, 1842, six years before James W. Marshall found gold on Sutter's Land in California. Oh, now you're going to. Now we're going to. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I tried All right, my best uh, to make it sound we like can, a uh, we, we can take it back. We can take it back. Well, let's take it back. Six years before James W. Marshall found gold on Sutter's land. No, too rushed. Francisco too Lopez. rushed. Too rushed. Uh, Bill, would you take that one more time, please? Uh, uh, roll it. Yeah. Hold it. March 9th. Take it one more time. So, would you emphasize the word March just a little bit more, please? Is he programmed? To do just a second. Hold on, Phil. We're going to put a little echo on you. A little echo, please. Okay. Uh, a little echo on the, echo on the president. president. All right, take it, Phil. Rolling, take it. On March. 9th, 1842, six years before James W. Marshall found gold on Sutter's land, it was discovered in California by Francisco Lopez of San Francisco Ranch. He wanted wild onions to compliment a dish he was making for his birthday dinner. And when he pulled them up, he found gold particles on them. He ate them anyway and died of gold poisoning. You know that I found gold on my land. I live at the corner of Gorge and Clutter in what is known as the Mexican burrito. And I found... It is not funny! There's nothing funny there's about Mexi no there's nothing funny about Mexican words no. anymore. You can't say that, said Chicano. No, you can't. You, you, you can't. Can you today? No, you Wait, can't. Let me check the Revolutionary can. Action Codical. Let's see what the Revolutionary Drug Brothers hand grip is for this week. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the thumb grip. Get that little short guy out of here. He is speaking another foreign language on an American radio station. I think that means he wants some onions. Some of these songs. <laughs> For the fiesta tomorrow. The fiesta de tamales. No, the marijuana fiesta. Ball. La fiesta de Mahijan. Hey, pufo <laughs> de mañana. Marijuana, that's what we call wild onions. Up that's in the right. North. That's right. The smell of the wild onions filled the gold room. Boy, smoking some onions. Have any of you seen on color television lately that wonderful Negro woman whose name is Jimmy Webb of Phoenix? No! No, no. What are you well, talking about? You have Her, name Her name is Jimmy Webb? Her name is Jimmy Webb of Phoenix. It says Jimmy Webb. Phoenix, and she's talking about something or other. It's just wonderful. Oh, God. She doesn't sing a note. <laughs> that was me. By the time I get to Phoenix, I'll be smoking onions. <laughs> hey, did you know what, what, uh, you, what? you like dogs, Phil? Yeah, I love dogs. Uh, do you know what dog is allowed into the or any pub in England? Uh, bulldog, the bulldog. No, not the bulldog. Uh, the, the drunk dog. Not a, no, no. <laughs> a oh, C&I no. dog. No, the only dog that's allowed in porcelain well, no, many dogs are allowed in I porcelain, but in pots. I no, 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 no. <laughs> What have you done with my husband? She oh, down at the dear. liquor store I with the fox. I saw him just a minute oh, ago. Oh, my goodness, those women are uh, fighting ask. again. King Charles dogs are the oh, only dogs yes. that are allowed because the king had a certain kind of dog and they're you know, allowed in pubs. I know, well, uh, he's headless, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you've heard of topless uh, waiters and yes. waitresses. Uh, he was a topless king. He was a headless hired, leader. I yes, it's true. He was. Topless yes. waiter. Either have I. These people must come from another they part of the over world. They come and sweats on you. And says, would you like another whiskey sour, baby? Would you what like a bummer? Would you like another whiskey sour, sweetheart? Sweet would you like another bowl of all organic recycled popcorn, honey? 
I know, it's difficult. I, when I was in the army, you know, when I used to go Are out... Are they recording all of this? Are we going to do this, uh, this, uh, well, disabled now, children commercial pretty soon? <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it one more time again, Pedro. Before we, before we have to take this commercial, I was out in the army and I used yeah. to go to this topless bar in Torrance, you know. You right mean they didn't have no heads? <laughs> no, not on the beer, you know. They used to blow the heads off the beer Ooh, behind man, the bar. That must have been terrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was terrible. Mm -hmm. And these women used to come over and sweat in your beer. It was really <laughs> terrible, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh... It's like a plate of hors d'oeuvres, but you have to, you know, push them out. You know, yeah, push them out of the way in order you to get into it. Know it. All they'd serve terrible. was wild onions and popcorn. You had to do the popcorn and eat wild onions. Let the reverend into your house this Sunday to do the popcorn. That's the new song from James Brown. Hubert Humphrey, you know, is uh, singing with the James Brown band now. Did you hear that? Yes, in order to get yes, his street yes. image back, you yeah. know? Yeah, well, he... Uh... He should lie down in the street. <laughs> you know, he went and he spoke to the uh, uh, Academy for the Advancement of Science meeting about two weeks ago, yes, and they yes. threw paper planes at him. <laughs> That's right, they did. New and they designs, got, however. Yeah, they called him a war much. criminal, you know. The hump, as we um, call him, is having a That's lot of trouble. That's because he, uh, during the war, you know, he refused to bomb the paper factories in Japan. Those, those teeny-weeny little paper factories, yeah, you mean? Yeah, they were, they were supplying, you know, uh, paper airplanes for the American forces. <laughs> Isn't it yes. ironic that the land of the rising sun yeah. was uh, bombed by the atomic bomb? Oh, I don't. God, think that's, that's terrible. I Isn't think ironic. Awful? I don't think that's ironic so really catches the moment. You know, actually, I mean, when they dropped that bomb, I think there were very few Japanese who, at the moment of the flash, said, said "What an oh, irony! Ironic. What an ironic, <laughs> poetic <laughs> moment! Oh, etched oh. in my memory, oh, etched in my wall." <laughs> Have you uh, heard the new song that the kids are singing now? No, I, this I, new, this I haven't. I have and roll, the Doors or something. You know, uh, singing the uh, closed doors. What's the name of that? Do you remember that song, Pete? Clean. You and us, we heard it. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, I, we're, I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. My father dropped the bomb on you. Oh yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, I very thought, popular in yeah, Tokyo. It is. You know, it's a foot tapper. It certainly is. If you got a foot left. I yeah. heard it down at the Atomic Cafe. You know that little Japanese restaurant no, down the there. Little Japanese restaurant at the at the corner of uh, Short and Shorter, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one that's built in a vacant lot. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one we. What? Where is you? <laughs> yeah, don't look around. Don't turn around. Oh, no. Can I have some more salt, honey, for these wild onions? Sure. You take salt on your wild onions, honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that sweating topless king out of this bar, would you? And take his dog with him, too. Anybody want any more popcorn? <laughs> Yeah, I, I wish I could find a poem by Shakespeare's spirit in this book here. Well, Reverend, uh, so we're you going mean that to Shakespeare's bring up the dead? spirit of Shakespeare. Is that what well, this is? Uh, can we all hold on to the table? Keep it down. Reverend Real Gomez spirit. here says that here it uh, comes. Uh, it's coming out now, Reverend. You can hear it. Oh, wait, wait a minute. No. Yeah, here it is. I found it. Oh, I bring found it up. Bring it up, it brother. Up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. Bring it on up now. Let's hear it. The immortal Shakespeare's birthday, April 23rd, 1564 to 1917, 353 years ago. Yes? I saw the light in ages past on England's beauteous shore, but now I see my darkened past must haunt me evermore. Oh, God, yes! When fate decreed that I should be and gave more than my due, she uh -huh. should have warned me that no man could serve as woman too. Wait yeah, a minute! Yeah. This is a dirty poem! The only crime in all my life I cannot repay here is that I held of all earth held a man's love the most dear. You know the kind of love I mean. Tis practiced still today. Never. And Same each right who breaks Same. God's Same. nature law must pay as mm. I. Damn mm. jolly and good. Pay. Bang on. Damn. And pay. Bang bugger and where you should pay. pay. And pay. Bang bugger. And bang pay. bugger boom you Tis in. now three hundred Bang dolly. Bang bang bang. Bang the dish. Three hundred worlds could not pay me. For all my burning tears, I'm W.S. Shakespeare in spirit through S.S., his only earthly medium. Dimmed queer. <laughs> Dim bung of this bell. A hole should be filled with a tar. The sailors knew how to do it, but they were all at sea. And so I left my wife to go to a Thank you, Pirate radio, yes, indeed. Har, 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 har. Aye, boy.
bosuns is a pleasure to see on board. Where's that little cabin boy? In my imagination, I'm finding consolation somewhere at Lon the Rio Grande. Sadly, I'm reminiscing, madly again I'm kissing someone along the Rio Grande. It happened in Monterey a long time ago. I met her in Monterey in old Mexico. Stars and steel guitars and luscious lips as red as wine Broke somebody's heart and I'm afraid that it was mine It happened in Monterey without thinking twice I left her and threw away the key to paradise My indiscreet heart Longs for the sweetheart that I left in old Monterey. A long time ago I met her in Monterey In old Mexico Stars and steel guitars And luscious lips as red as wine Broke somebody's heart And I'm afraid that it was mine It happened in Monterey Without thinking twice I left her and threw away the key to paradise. My indiscreet heart longs for the sweet heart that I left in old Montreal. Spade did not look at the pistol. He raised his arms and, leaning back in his chair, intertwined the fingers of his two hands behind his head. His eyes, holding no particular expression, remained focused on Cairo's dark face. Cairo coughed a little apologetic <coughs> cough and Excuse smiled me. nervously with lips that had lost some of their redness. His dark eyes were humid and bashful and very earnest. I intend to search your offices, Mr. Spade. I warn you that if you attempt to prevent me, I shall certainly shoot you. Where's the key to the toilet? Go on, go, go ahead. Spade's voice was as empty of expression as his face. You will please stand still. The man with the pistol instructed him at whose thick chest the pistol was aimed. I shall have to make sure that you are not armed. The ladies' dressing room, in treating of the ladies' toilet, it will be well to endeavor to convey some idea of general arrangements and requirements of a ladies' dressing room. A ladies' toilet should be uh, situated at the back of the room and separated by a small curtain of a crepe chenille. But that... Male employees are required to wear white business shirts as a condition of employment. The term white shirt does not allow the interpretation of white on white, patterned or other fashion trends. It simply means a flat, non-patterned white dress shirt with no lace, sequined buttons. As I mentioned whatever. in Eating and Being Eaten, July 1970, <laughs> page 20, a friend once asked me about the South American capybaras. 
I explained that they looked like pigs, but were really a kind of rat. But that's me, was his exclamation. I suppose everyone feels that way at times. You know, ear specialists or auto... No longer use the word deaf to denote... What'd you say? Impairment of hearing, except in an... Hey, what? Or accepted term is impairment of hearing or hearing defect. Ale employees are required to wear a business suit as a condition of employment. The business suit should be conservatively tailored. What suit are you wearing? Diamonds. means yeah. no flared trousers. Give me gentlemen. another flare, bartender. Listen, you've had 16 guinea flares tonight. But it's the He's holy going guinea, hour. He's a guinea pig. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> but I'm really a rat. Yes, you are. Yeah. That's because you got the vote. That's why. That's true. Who are you going to vote for this I'm going to vote for anybody that's blackberry flavored. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, June 16th, allowance a dollar fifty. Mushrooms a dollar fifty cents. Evelyn brought some candy, forty one cents. Cookies, thirty two cents. Seventy three cents. Authentic left. teasing togs direct from the famous pink pussycat of Hollywood. Consists of pink string, two pink felt <laughs> bosom bonnets, and sparkling naval jewels for to, sailors only. To loosen the stoppers of toilet oil. bottles, let a pure drop of oil flow around the stopper and stand on the top of the toilet until your foot disappears beneath the fire. After a time, tap down. Male employees are required to be clean-shaven, have conservative <laughs> hairstyles, and... And side Let's do the popcorn. As, as yeah. Condition of employment, they've gentlemen. They've got to do the popcorn. And they've got to be as queer as Shakespeare in this place, <laughs> or they don't get a job. God, no. June 1st, 1961, had permanent wave, $8.50. Eight a permanent $8. wave, $8. man. Dick That's surfing in heaven. And I had a nice time. <laughs> Two good <laughs> Yes, yes, dear friends. The Winter Palace yes, Award. Yes, yes, it was. The Winter Palace Award goes to Phil Austin this week for that incredible conjunction of words. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you know, it wasn't say, me, it was Gomez did it. Came out of his mouth, did it? That's just amazing say, how those voices work, isn't it, Charlie? Say, uh, Dave, before you get into the serious, uh, poetic uh, side of the show, I've got a news That's report right. here. Uh, here's an interesting thing for those of you who are going to be following the uh, uh, Republican convention this summer. Uh, we've got news here that uh, President Nixon's got a new vice presidential running mate. Brand in order bag, to. Eh? That's right, in order to attract the youth vote, uh, Rod Stewart is going to be running with the president. Hey, let's hear for Rod. Hey. That's Keep far out. out. That's yes, far you out, know, you know, Not president. as good as a wink to a dead president. Well, thank you, Charlie. I've uh, read today the first rumor that uh, Hoover is going to give, be getting the heave. The Hoover's getting the heave. That's what I heard. They're going to take my, my vacuum cleaner away? That's what they tell me. The <laughs> FBI is going to come to everybody's door and take their vacuum cleaner no more away. Vacuum no more sucking of the dust. No, no, and gonna... no, it's got to be the old sweeperino. That's right. No broom. Out Man, broom. this is really Natural. a fascist country. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, as they that say down <laughs> south, the uh, the symbol of firmness symbolizes heaven. You can't yeah, say that's that on the radio. Though. Wait a minute. <laughs> the, well, I never heard that. Sure. The symbol of firmness. What? That's no, what no. they say. Oh, yeah. My old daddy used to say that. I Did remember that. Sure. Say that's why daddy daddy. Daddy. My old daddy used to say that. Sure. Oh, yeah. What translation? When we was marching from uh, Memphis, you know, to Mobile in the People's Revolutionary March 8th Pornography that's Strike Mal Force. Bill. Yeah, Mobile. <laughs> Mobile. Right. You're part of yeah. the old shock troops. You used to run into people's houses and go, bugga, bugga, bugga. Ah! <laughs> what a shock, boy. Yeah. They'd believe anything after that. Stuck we outside of to... Memphis with the Mobile Blues again. <laughs> That's right. You know, the Peking Opera came to Mobile, you know. The Mobile People's Opera, the one on yeah, wheels the Peking now. Toms. That's what they call them. That's members. right. They used to look in. And what they do is they come. It's a four-hour opera. And all the uh, conservatives come to watch it, you know, and they fall asleep. And then uh, the communists come in and tie them up and take them off to jail. So that, the Peking Opera, isn't that a half a million people standing in an open field all singing the same song? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. That's, right. That's the vacant lot uh, where the Atomic Cafe That's right. sprang up. That's they right. planted a gas station. I like to build a world of <laughs> no. coke and sniff it every day. I, I like to build a world of coke. 
International cooperation, folks. We gathered these millions of Italian drug addicts on this hilltop in China. And if you and can read this pretty, this you got a good eyes, Joe. Yeah, don't drop the bombs on the uh, WAPA drug addicts. Uh, they belong to the Japanese uh, Peace Council. With a drink like this, who needs hair? The symbol of firmness symbolizes heaven. Yeah, I think my daddy did say that. Mountain summit stone. <laughs> okay. All right. See, pride goeth before a fall. I didn't have my piece of paper. Up. Yeah, but you're wearing your fall. I'd forgotten what we were doing. <laughs> it's this damned blackberry flavor. Is that brand. a rat in your hair, too? Yeah. <laughs> Are you wearing that or is it wearing you? Shall we you? start over again, sure. boys? Ready? Uh, okay. Just a second, Mr. Osmond. Let's go. Let's uh, go miss, back. Uh, tiny poetry alert. Three minutes. Poetry alert. Everything you say now will have double significance. Take it again, Mr. Osman. The symbol of firmness symbolizes heaven. Mountain summit stone. The dragon turns over. The symbol of firmness symbolizes earth. Mist enveloped stone. The tiger's tread. Bursting. Moon shadow stone. The monkey springs. Covering. Mandarin duck stone. The tortoise mounts. Waiting. Sentinel stone. The phoenix flutters. Contention. Water gate stone. A rabbit sucking a hare. Subaltern assistance. Wave receiving stone. Fish with scales joined. Multitude and the army. Flying geese stone. Cranes with necks intertwined. Small restraint. Fish diverting stone. Silkworms reeling silk. Stepping carefully. Nameless stone. Fish eye to eye. Successfulness. Planet stone. Heart sharing swallow. Closing. Tortoise stone. Kingfishers intertwined. Companionship. Crane stone. Joined Mandarin ducks. Great possession. Long life stone. Sky soaring butterfly. Humility. Good luck stone. Rear flying wild duck. Harmonious joy. <laughs> Life and death stone. Recumbent covered pine. Following. Mirror stone. Destruction. Advance and arrival. Steady observation. Honoring wild stone. horse leap. Mastication. Shoe removing stone. The horses shaking hoods. Decoration. Sword hanging stone. The white tiger. Falling. Stone. Sleeping tiger stone. Mountain returning. Gold. Long facing a Freedom stone. from error or phoenix. Magician's hat stone. Great accumulation. Great permit stone. The, the cheek and, and nourishment. Faint scent stone. Snail stone. Great passage. Poor stone. Sinking. Diseased stone. A great bird soars over a dark sea. Brightness and separateness. Dead stone. Wailing monkey embracing a tree. Deep friends. Yes, dear friends, you've been listening to the Firesign Theater Show. Dear friends, let's eat. Brought to you every week at this time by God knows what from Morphine. God knows where. Thank you very much, Pastor. Yes, sir. Tonight you heard Peter Bergman as Wilson Pickett, Bill Austin as Pablo Gonzalez, yes. Bill Proctor as God. Yes. Hey. And yours truly, Dave Osman, as the voice of your conscience. Yes. Until next week, dear friends, this is the Firesign Theater saying so long, so long, and so long. Keep happy. Keep happy. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Along the lines of your hunger. Let's have What is a horse mean? You're listening to KPFK in Los Angeles. And that program came to you live from the studios of KPFK on Thursday, the 
the 27th of January, 1972, in case you happen to listen to it some other time.